Right, so recently in the news, Lotus is planning on cutting production of the Elise, Exceed and the Abora. With their maxing production of this, what is to come in 2021? Find out in this video as we talk about the Lotus Type 131. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bekays and I talk about car related news, different sorts of car topics, giving my opinions out, as well as playing some Forza Horizon 4 from time to time. If you enjoy that sort of content, please like, share and subscribe as we talk about Lotus's new endeavour on creating a new line of sports cars. So here's the image that Lotus Design released, and as you can see at the forefront, it's got the Lotus Avaya, a very imposing 2,000 horsepower, 2 million pound hypercar. And as you can see, you've got three in the background which are covered in a cloak, kind of like a teaser. So the one on the left looks kind of like the Lotus Esprit concept car from 2010. You can kind of see the design language actually of the sloping roof line and also the headlights look quite similar. The middle one is physically the biggest out of the three, kind of reminding me of the Lotus Evora, a Grand Tourer if you will, so probably has a bit more practicality to it, a bit more lug luggage space. It'd be kind of interesting though because there's speculations of hybridizations with this uh, new Vision 80 strategy that Lotus is applying to these future cars be interesting to see and then finally you've got the one on the right which is the smallest could it possibly revive the lotus elan name as it is much much smaller compared to the other ones maybe that's just perspective uh, let me know in the comments below uh, but this one might have a slightly smaller displacement as well as having a hybrid powertrain to help it give that get up and go obviously with lotus moving to electrification for their hypercar surely it's gonna trickle down into their regular series production cars and obviously are going to be much less expensive than the two million pound of via. Lotus has introduced this principle called the Vision 80 strategy which is going to pump 100 million pounds into the HQ in Heffel and provide 250 jobs so they can start developing new sports cars starting off with the 131 which is starting production later on this year and there's speculation saying that it could be a hybridized v6 back in 2017 they partnered with a chinese automaker called geely so obviously they have 670 employees as of now plus them 250 for this endeavor you've got nearly a thousand employees working at your company that in turn should allow for faster production of the new sports cars that Lotus are providing. Now their job is to create a really good successor to the Elise which started it all. Of course it's a 25 year old design and the Elise platform has been used on every single modern Lotus model. So though it's aged quite a bit, albeit with revisions in each model year by year, it encapsulated what a sports car was meant to be, lightweight, agile, and have just enough power so that you can enjoy it. Let's be honest though, the interior in the Lotus Elise is pretty outdated and surely would be revised and it could take inspiration from this Esprit concept. I know it revolves around 2010 tech but it can still carry that design philosophy. Obviously this transition is understandable because the Lotus platform is getting pretty old now. Of course the Elise, this platform like I said is 25 years old and it's um, shared with the Exige and the Evora as well although the chassis is slightly different in some areas as you'd expect. But with this instigation by Geely, we should be able to see a lot more updated models, possibly those that will be better made with computer aided design. And also coupled with the fact that it could be a hybrid, you could also see a lot of those with instant torque as well as lightweight power. Though with health and safety regulations getting stricter and stricter and emissions controls, you probably see a slight discrepancy between the uh, weight of the previous models compared to the new. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already and take care. Peace.